Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Nebula Micro, a new micro-sized FEB camera by Cadex, which supports both traditional analog and DJI digital FEB transmission systems. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, measure its analog latency, and head outdoors and compare it side by side with other similar analog cameras. First of all, just like the Nebula Nano, which I've recently reviewed, the Nebula Micro is available in black or silver, and at the moment of shooting this video, it is only available as a standalone camera, so it doesn't come with a coaxial cable, which is required in order to connect the camera to the DJI Air Unit or to the Cadex Vista. The highlight of the camera is the ability to connect it to both analog and DJI digital transmission systems. So at the first glance, it looks like a standard micro-sized FPV camera, but removing the back cover reveals a DJI coaxial connector. So in case you would like to connect the camera to the DJI Air Unit or to the Cadex Vista, you can use this coaxial connector, and in case you would like to connect it to an analog system, you can use this standard 3 pins connector. The input voltage of the camera is between 5 to 36 volts, and in addition you'll also be able to set the analog settings using a provided OSD control board. The digital performance of the Nebula Micro should be very similar if not identical to the Nebula Nano since it shares with it the same specs. So the resolution is limited to 720p 60 frames per second, the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9 and unfortunately using the latest firmware you won't be able to change it, and the digital latency is 32 milliseconds. Since the Nebula Micro that I have is a prototype version, I'm not going to include digital footage in this video, and according to Codex, the final version should have an improved software, which should also, as far as I understand, improve also the performance of the Nebula Nano, so once I will get the final cameras, I'm going to post another side-by-side -side comparison with the standard DJI camera. As for its weight, the Nebula Micro weighs 5.9 grams, so it's 1.3 grams heavier than the Nebula Nano, 2.7 grams lighter than the Cadex Vatel, and including the coaxial cable, it is 5.2 grams lighter than the standard DJI camera. In addition, the dimensions of the camera are 19.5 by 19 by 19.8 mm. It is using a 2.1 mm lens and features a 1000 TV line CMOS sensor. Now using the OSD control board, let's go through the analog settings of the camera, which are not going to affect the digital settings. Short pressing the joystick of the OSD control board is going to take us to this setup menu. Over here you'll be able to adjust the picture, flip the image horizontally and vertically, adjust the brightness, contrast, sharpness, hue and color again. The day and night mode can be set either to auto, or you can set it manually to color or black and white. You can set the white balance. Over here the environment was set out of the box to indoors and I set it to outdoors. You can set the language to one of the following options. And you can also restore the camera to the default settings. In case you changed any of the settings, don't forget to save the settings once pressing exit. In addition, you can also enter another setup menu by pressing the joystick button towards the top side. Over here you'll be able to set the pilot name and choose whether you want to display it or not. Select whether to display the timer, voltage, change the mode between normal and LED, set the widescreen mode to on or off, so in case you're using 4x3 goggles you should leave it off, and you can also set the TV mode to NTSC which is the default option, or you can set it to PAL. According to Codex, the analog latency of the camera is 4 milliseconds, which is really low. And in order to test it, I used my usual method of recording the screens of the Fetchak HDO2 at 240 frames per second, so 4 milliseconds is actually the error of my test, which confirms that the analog latency of the camera is really low. So basically, as far as I can tell, this camera is intended for someone who's looking for an FPV racing camera and thinking about migrating to the DJI Digital FPV transmission system, so in case they decide to go digital, they can still use this camera along with the new digital system. I'm going to wrap up this video with an analog FPV side-by-side -side comparison of the Nebula Micro with the Runcom Racer 3, the Foxio Prato Micro 4, and an updated version of the Cadex Kangaroo. Please keep in mind that all the cameras were set to their default settings and color picture mode, and since I have the prototype version of the Nebula Micro, in my opinion the sharpness was a little bit too high, and according to Cadex they are going to adjust it in the final production version. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos!